you see all internet companies talking about big data and this and that, all internet companies are drawing a lot of uh, value from this. Uh, this is the Gartner hype, hype cycle. What this is talking about is uh, there are different type of technologies. They come and go over a period of time. So big data right now, if you see, it's in the uh, cycle of uh, two to five years, actually. Uh, so you can see all those different kind of things. Uh, cloud is also there. Ebook readers is there. Uh, hosted but predictive analytics is also there. It's less than zero to two years, it shows. So, so again, big data is very new. It's still like in the so the term was coined I think a couple of years back, but it it picked up steam in the last uh, two to three years. Uh, uh, closely to Yahoo, Yahoo was big uh, kind of uh, push in that system. So big data in action, like how do you kind of make uh, decisions using big data? Is first of all you acquire the data from all these different variable data sources. Uh, you organize it in a, a warehouse or in a consolidated store or based upon a Hadoop-based system. Then you analyze the data using your predictive models and things like that, and then you come out with the actionable outcomes that you apply in your businesses. So that's how you make decisions. Uh, this was a survey done by, uh, done by uh, different companies, like what are the executives talking about how they want to use uh, big data? And these are the pain points they came out with. Uh, our current analytics tools just provide insights uh, of prior performance, but we need more predictive tools, which will tell, talk about future. Like whatever has happened in the past is all good, but we want to be able to tell what can happen in the future. So that was the top uh, request, and these are other requests as well that came. I'm sorry, I'm running a little bit uh, fast, but uh, so these are some of the techniques and technologies that that you would generally associate it uh, with uh, big data when you want to make sense of it. Uh, so data science is primarily data aggregation, data manipulation, and analysis and visualization. My friend earlier already showed visualization, what you can do. So it is much more easier to consume the data. Uh, but initially, you have to aggregate it, get the data, um, use typical EDL, like extract, transform, and load. And finally, you can visualize it. Fields that are associated with this, statistics, mathematics, computer science, economy, these are the fields associated with this kind of way. Uh, some of the technologies, I, I think uh, this is nothing new. People already know about it. Map, map reduce, Hadoop, Cassandra, warehouses, business intelligence, uh, uh, predictive tools like R, SAS, SPSS, visualization, Pascal, etc. So these are the things people are uh, normally using. Type of analysis, so primarily people do data mining to discover the relationships between data. So that's what data mining is all about. And predictive mm -hmm. analytics is once you have found the relationship, do you really want to predict something in the future? Right? So that's about uh, predictive analytics. Predictive modeling is uh, huge about that. Uh, moving, so this is a very neat chart I got from uh, internet again. I think this really puts up across the whole big data ecosystem where everybody fits in. So you can clearly see uh, you have the base layer. So it's like almost like a software stack, if you will. Uh, technology, Hadoop, Hadoop uh, Mahout, XBase, Cassandra. Uh, then you have structured databases, Oracle. Infrastructure as a service, Amazon, Azure, Windows, etc. Operational infrastructure, analytics infrastructure. Uh, yeah, HowTomeWorks was the company start, started by Yahoo uh, in mid of 2011, which is primarily focusing on uh, Hadoop infrastructure. Then you have analytics and visualization, business intelligence, and then you have vertical app, uh, data as a service, log data app, media app, vertical app. So you can clearly see the all these different companies where they fit into the system, and it's a very good slide. I'll just not take more time, I'm just going to wrap it up. So uh, I want to give some takeaways before I wrap my talk today. Um, so there is a lot of euphoria in the mind of people about uh, big data, and uh, people are talking about it and all. But I want to caution people here today. Uh, so big data doesn't solve world hunger problems. Like uh, It can only tell you what has happened in the past. It will never tell you what has never happened in the past. So it will not kind of predict black swan events, like the term was coined, like what happened in the time. So that is very, very important to note. Uh, another thing to note is that expertise of a particular person who is using those systems is much more important than the tool itself. So uh, even with all these systems, it's very easy to get wrong, things wrong. So that's very, very important. And again, people get confused by SQL databases, no SQL databases, and both are required. You cannot do away with a uh, SQL-based database, oh, I'll only use it. Uh, unstructured data and I'll be done with it. No, that's not going to work. There are specific use cases where you use a structured database and an unstructured database. So that is there. Uh, intuition and intelligence cannot be replaced by big data. So human beings are still required, 
they have to use their intuition, they have to use their intelligence to be intelligently be able to use these systems. Uh, start small, then you have to implement any kind of project. Start very, very small, take baby steps, see whether it is working for you. It is not a good fit for everyone. You have to see whether it is a good fit for you or not. Big companies like Microsoft and Google and Yahoo's have a lot of money to you know, invest in these technologies and drive value from it. The most of them drive value from advertising, right? And they want to you know, show you the uh, good ads and make money. But other companies' model may not be that. And they, it may not be a good fit for them. So they have to think. Uh, and don't forget that at the end of the day, for any company, the customer is the top most valuable piece. And if you do not take care of the customer, customer will be very happy to go and sit in somebody else's database and not yours. So we should not forget like the, the real picture in all the frenzy of big data. So that's the note uh, I wanted to leave with. And of course, metrics are easy and, and insights are hard. And that's the problem that everybody's trying to solve. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks. Everybody, we're going to do a kind of a joint.